Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for our dinners this week, I am going to concentrate on using stuff out of my freezer. I have a lot of stuff in my freezer in the garage that needs to be used up. So in my freezer, I have these short ribs. I usually buy them when they're on sale. I clean them and then I put them in marinade. And so this is a marinade that I use for them. We really like this marinade a lot. It's hot and spicy Korean barbecue marinade. And um, I grilled them on the charcoal grill having some stir fried fresh broccoli with it and some fried rice. So in my pantry, I have this box of Japanese seasoning um, and then you can use it for soup or fried rice. And I decided to use mine for fried rice. The problem is, is you know, the, <laughs> the directions are not in English. So I kind of just figured it out myself. So I had three cups of cold cooked rice and the box comes with four of these packets. I measured the seasoning in the packets and there's a little over two tablespoons per packet. So I just used half or just one tablespoon for my rice along with a scrambled egg and that was the perfect amount of seasoning. Howard and I both tried it and it has a really good flavor. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are having this shrimp fajita kit that I picked up from Kroger a few months ago. I found it for, I think it was $5. I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for it. 24 ounces, so you get a bag of frozen shrimp, frozen fajita vegetables, and a spicy fajita sauce. So can't beat that for five bucks, three servings in the package. So this is Howard's plate. I made some, a side of just Mexican rice to go with it. And um, he's got the fajita mixture on top. Of course, doesn't look like the picture, but it does have a good flavor. It is pretty good. So this is his plate. And then he is using a flour tortilla. He's got some sour cream, avocado, and rice in there. I made mine into a bowl and I just have the rice on the bottom and then the fajita mixture on the top. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Okay, so in my freezer I had some ribeye steaks and so I also had this marinade in my pantry um, that I wanted to try. So it's Tony Sassery's Steakhouse Seasoning. Um, garlic, brown sugar, soy, citrus, and Creole seasonings. I have several of these seasonings. I have one for chicken, one for burgers, and I think I also have one for pork. But trying this out for the very first time today, um, I tasted a little bit of the marinade and it has a nice savory seasoning to it. If I didn't mention, I cook these steaks on the charcoal grill, having a buttered baked potato on the on, um, on the side, I use my air fryer. I always use my air fryer to make baked potatoes. They come out perfectly every time. I just clean them up. I don't poke holes in them or anything and I pop them in the air fryer for 45 minutes to an hour depending on the side of the potato. And then we're also having some grilled corn on the cob on the side as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having smothered burritos. So I have my little helper here. Say hi, Harrison. Hi. <laughs> so he is helping me with this. So I have these, fro actually they're chimichangas. So I have these chimichangas in the freezer. These are spicy jalapeno bean and cheese. And then right over here, I have some Mexican uh, four cheese. In this bowl, I have one cup of heavy whipping cream, one can of cream of chicken soup, and one can of mild diced chilies. So I've already started this process. On the very bottom of the casserole dish, I spread a little bit of that sauce mixture, and then I put my uh, chimichangas on top. You can use chimichangas or burritos, whatever you have. And I'm just starting the process of spreading out that sauce. Then I'm gonna top it with cheese, and then I'm gonna cover it and bake it in the oven for about 40 minutes. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. So I ended up baking the burritos or chimichangas for 50 minutes total. The last 10 minutes, I took the foil off 
um, so that the cheese could get kind of brown. And then I'm serving it with a side of Mexican style corn and then the leftover Mexican rice from the other night. These burritos are really very good. Of course, I have these in my freezer, but if I made these again, um, I would probably use a, a chicken burrito or beef burrito or something like that. I just would, I think I'd like some meat in there, but these are really good. I definitely do it again. This would also be good with Monterey Jack cheese as well. And if you're kind of nervous about the peppers, the peppers, the chilies, I should say, I got mild chili, so there's no heat, but they just add really good flavor. So I found the recipe on Facebook and I loosely follow the directions, very loosely, but I'll make sure to um, put the directions um, or the ingredients, what I used in the description box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, Howard and I decided to try out a new Thai restaurant and it was so good. I got Thai fried rice with chicken and both of our entrees came with pork rolls. Howard got red curry chicken and he said it was absolutely delicious and his came with steamed rice. So this is what we had for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.